Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So I received a request to show you my sneaker collection. I'm not really an avid collector or anything, but okay. So if you guys want to see it, then I shall deliver. Um, but yeah, so I just went around the house and collected all my sneakers and surprisingly I have quite a lot. Um, the past couple of years, I feel like I've just gotten really comfortable and I wear actually a lot of sneakers now. I usually wear the same pairs over and over again. Um, I am not, like I said, not a collector. My husband went through a collection stage where he collected Air Maxes um, and, you know, specific shoes. So I kind of joined in on the ride, but I'm not really too phased by it. I do wear them because they're pretty or because they're comfy. Um, so a lot of these shoes are actually quite dirty because I really should have cleaned it before I recorded this, but meh. So let's get into it and I'll try to categorize these as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the ones that I don't really care much about. They kind of just sit under the stair storage. Um, but I thought I'll keep it because, you know, they come in handy for everyday use. Um, so the first pair are these Vans. They're, they're just the normal kind of like, you know, street car shoes. Um, these ones, I think, are the dainty ones. I'm not quite sure on the model, but as you can see, they're so dirty. These have kind of turned into my cherry-picking shoes. So I go cherry-picking annually around Christmas, um, Australian, uh, you know, summer, and I wear these because, I don't know, they just get dirty. But I like it because they're quite simple, easy to wear, um, and yeah, but I don't really wear them a lot now, so I literally pretty much wear these, if anything, once a year. But I really still like them. I think they're still really nice. I thought I would keep them. Another pair which is slightly similar are the Converse. These are like the low cut kind of like um, thinner kind of like rubber to the soles as well. These were white. I think it looks more creamy and dirty. I do wear these once in a while uh, depending on what I'm wearing. If I didn't want my shoes to look too like sneakers to look too bulky. I have really wide feet as well so a lot of my shoes you may notice are kind of out of shape or a little bit wider. Um, I'm very self-conscious about that when I wear shoes um, but I do like these like if I was wearing you know shorts or something i didn't want like my feet to be too bulky um so these have been these are actually one of my go-to ones the next pair are these um nike roshis i bought these like maybe three years ago and honestly i think i've only worn it once i am not really a white person because i get it dirty so much but i felt like the need i felt the need to have a pair of white all white shoes so i bought this i've literally only wear it, worn it once i am thinking about selling it but I keep forgetting about it because it's under my stairs, but I think I always think one day I might break into it and wear it again. So I've got those. Now the next two are kind of my go-to for actual exercising or running or gym. So the first one is one of my favourites. These are the um, Nike Air, is it Air Thea's or the Thea Cooch? I love the Thea collection because Thea kind of looks, it's not too bulky like the Air Max um or the Roshis, like it's kind of unisex. The Thea is like kind of nicely slimmed shoes for women. And I really like it. These are, I think, the Safari collection. It took me, I scouted everywhere online to try and find these pair at the time. I think I've had these for like six, seven years. Um, but I finally got my hands. So these like are, are my go-to as well. But I wear these more if I was going to the gym or doing some sort of exercise. But I still really like these though. If I was running somewhere, then my go-to are these Adidas. I think these are the Flyknits. I will leave a link down below if I'm saying it wrong. I have no idea. But these are like the Flyknits. They're really comfy because they're like this net material. As you can see, it's really dirty because they're literally like my go-to. They've been my go-to for like just if I was to run errands or if I'm going for like a walk around the block or like around the park or something, these are my go-to because they're so comfy. I did used to own a pair of like leather ASIC runners. Um, if I was doing more like active sports, like playing netball or like some sort of sports or, you know, doing fitness classes where I'll be moving to side to side, then I did used to have a pair of leather ones because they're just better support for your ankles. Um, but because I'm not really that active or do those kind of things now, I got rid of those. So 
I do mostly just walks around um, like the park, the lakes, anything that involves brunch after. So these have just been really handy for it. So the next three are my go-tos for just everyday wear, like going out for mother's group, brunch, um, actually going shopping and not looking like a dag. Um, so the first one are these Adidas. I think these are the Stan Smith ones. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link down below because I'm clueless when it comes to names right now I can't think but they're really nice they're like this really nice soft leather I like it because it's all black leatherish I think it's leather um with a white sole rubber to it um it's just really nice it goes with anything like I said I've got really wide feet so it has kind of like stretched out a bit but they're just really comfy and easy to wear and they're quite yeah they're comfy for long walks as well so those have been my go-to obviously because they're so dirty the next one is the Adidas Superstars now are they called Adidas or Adidas I think in Australia they're called Adidas, but I hear Americans call it Adidas. I'm not sure, but these are my standard superstars. Um, I really like it. I think it's cute. It just goes with everything and makes it look dressy because it's white. Um, I try not to get it too dirty. Um, but like I said, because I've got wide feet, sometimes it does make my feet look a bit wider. So depending on what I'm wearing, um, if I'm wearing jeans or something like that, generally I wear it with these when they're out. Um, but yeah, so these are also comfy as well. Another alternate that I kind of swap between that and these. So these are the Adidas, again, these are the Stan Smith ones. These are the ones like the classic with a green back. And these are the Velcros. I love these because they're Velcros. I suck at doing shoelaces. A lot of like my Oxford kind of shoes, I've actually super glued them because I hate doing lash laces. Obviously I can't super glue runners. Because that's just weird. But normally, like, I just tie it up and tuck it in. But these ones are awesome because I don't have to. They're all Velcro. And I'm hoping to get Isabel, like, a pair, matching pair of these as well. But these are also really comfy and just really easy to wear. Okay, so the next bunch I purely purchased because it looked really pretty. And I thought it would be nice to kind of dress up, like, streetwear, everyday kind of, like, fashion style styling. Um, these ones, the first one are these New Balance ones. These ones I bought from ASOS. So they're actually a size smaller so I had to take out the inner um, lining on it to fit my feet into it um, but these are just really nice burgundy ones I think it goes really nice just to wear out you know on day trips and just take Instagram photos and things like that and I also bought a pair in cream like beigey color because you know different colors I feel like all my shoes are either black black or like mostly black so I thought it'd be nice to have some different color sneakers I surprisingly I'm not like I said I'm not a collector but in the past couple of years I've definitely gone from heels to sneakers because they're just so comfy and nowadays I just work it into every style for different occasions um so these ones I think I also got an ASOS but these are just a nice beige kind of color and I think it's slightly like leather or painted kind of so it's not fabric material I also have a pair of high kicks, I believe, from Nike. These ones I haven't worn in a very long time, but I love it because they're wedged. So I am quite short. I'm about 155 centimeters. Um, so these are also awesome because they're sneakers, but they do have a wedge in it. So it gives me a little bit of height. It's not to everyone's taste, but you know what? Like sometimes, you know, if you need that extra height and it's super comfortable as well. So I haven't worn it in a while because I have a lot of shoes really to choose from. Um, but I do like looking at it and it's a nice black one so it goes with everything and the color of it looks really nice as well so moving on to the collectibles the ones that are lucky enough to sit on these shelves um these are the shoes that aren't my go-to but i still like to look at it or keep because they do have some sort of value or meaning behind it like i said i'm not really a collector my husband was so i just you know he always tells me stuff about it so i'm like you know why not get a few pairs myself the first one is this air max so this isn't really a collectible there's no meaning behind it but i just like it because it's again black and it's got like a little bit of a camera print these are the air max 90s um they're just really nice i went through like an air max stage as well um, which I usually rock these around Air Max days every year. The next one is, I guess, the um, original OG. These are the um, Air Max Infrareds, um, which are really popular. I'm not sure on the year of these, but it took like, my husband a while to hunt these down. 
I like it because Keanu has a pair and we just, I don't know, I like the whole matchy thing. He doesn't like it, but I like it. I haven't worn it in a very long time, but I do like to collect it because it is one of the original OG kind of designs and colours, the colours as well. Um, so I always keep these around. So moving on to Jordans. So my husband was obsessed with them at one stage, like the whole lineups and like the whole... Ooh, it was like hectic. Um, so naturally I attended and like, you know, got a few as well. The good thing is with Jordan, so you either have adult size or kid size. Like they're quite unisex. I am lucky enough to fit the kid sizing. So when it comes to, I guess, buying a pair, it's just easier because I don't have to fight over like, you know, the adult sizing. I'm not sure whether it's cheaper. I don't think so. But anyway, so I did have a few more, but like I said, I'm not really a collector. I just like it because it looks pretty. Um, but these ones I kept because they have meaning or I think it looks nice. Um, so the first one that started off my Jordan collection are these ones. This is the Jordan 5 in the grapes. I think, yeah, so these ones were the ones that started everything. My husband got a pair, I got a pair. I don't wear it. I actually think I've maybe worn this once. But the reason why I've kept it is because we also have a kid's one for Isabel. Well, back then is when I had a kid, it would be nice if we all had the same pair. It's still quite big, so she probably can't wear it till she's like 10 or something like that. Um, but I've kept it because I just, I don't know, I thought it would be nice that we all had like similar pairs of shoes. And if I had a son, maybe I can pass on my pairs to him as well. Um, and I like it because it's quite pretty. It's purple and it's nice. Um, all these Jordan, obviously, they're all collectible lab and just help designed by Michael Jordan um, and they all kind of have their own collection and meaning to it I'm not going to go on the details because you know if you know a Jordan collector I'm pretty sure you've heard enough of it um, yeah so that is it's still pretty I really like it but I don't wear it enough because I don't want to get it dirty as well so the next pair Kang actually got me I think for Christmas one year these are the Jordan 3 true blues these are like one of the OG kind of prints as well so it's very hard to get these um so I keep these because it's quite sentimental and I still like it as well like, I don't wear it as often I actually probably wear it maybe once or twice but I think it's really pretty to have in the collection and I don't know one day these may be worth something so got these I also had um some Jordan 4s as well um but I ended up selling it because I realized I really didn't need a lot of them I just kept these because some of them I still wear or some of them I kept for sentimental reasons so I got rid of that but the ninth I think the last one yeah so the last pair I have are these Jordan 6 infrareds I really like this actually at first I was like mm, not really interested in it but since I put in the effort, we went and lined up for it for Kyung, so I thought I might as well line up for a pair for myself. But I actually quite like it because it's all black. It's just really easy to wear with clothes. It's got a little bit of like the infrared um, color in it as well. Um, so this is quite nice. I bought these like shoehorns from, I think, Ikea, which come in handy. These are the kids' versions, I think. They're just a little bit smaller, but they're just, you know, to help keep it in shape as well. So these ones I've also kept. Um, they're quite comfy, like with the Jordans, but they do, for me, in my opinion, they're quite bulky. So when I do wear it, and plus, when it comes to collectible shoes, it's not something that I would wear every day. If it's raining, I'll always have to check the weather or something like that, which is why it's not really my go-to. If it was a special occasion, it was a nice day, then I might whip them out. Um, but yeah, so that is, I've only got three pairs, I think. So those are my Jordan collection. Moving on to my Yeezy. So I have two pairs of Yeezys. Um, oh my god, so if you've heard my story the, when Yeezys were released, the first one were the turtle doves that Kanye released. They were what started this craze, like this crazy ass craze. Um, yeah, so I actually put my name for a raffle in that and I won it, but I wasn't there so I couldn't get it. <sighs> it was the biggest regret of my life. But anyways, moving on, I did like managed to get two more pairs off of that so the first one is probably one of my favorites is these Yeezys these are the Oxford tan ones so these came out I think it was might have been like the third release or third or fourth release I'm not really like 
at this present moment, I'm kind of over the whole sneaker game thing. I just like it because it's pretty, or I'll wear it because it's comfy. Um, but these were these are the Oxford tan ones, which I actually quite like because I think it's got a nice feminine touch to it. It just goes with everything. It looks really nice, and it's quite comfy as well. It's got a really nice, like, the Ultra Boost kind of, like, those marshmallow kind of foam things on the bottom. These are really comfy. Um, at first, because, like, they the resale price on these is quite expensive but I was trying to keep it like these are still the dead stock kind of laces I have not even that's how lazy I am I haven't even undone these so <sighs> I have these which is good because if you know if ever I need to get rid of them I can still I guess get my money back or so and the other pair of Yeezys I have are these ones these are the um, Beluga version 2s the grey with the white on it um, these ones yeah, I went through a raffle as well. So most, I'm not sure whether they still do it because I don't really follow. It's kind of, I don't know, for me, I find it really disappointing that, you know, it was nicely hyped up at the start, but now he just generally releases it. And then it's just, there's a lot of fakes and replicas out there. It just really turned me off. Um, but yeah, so, but I like these ones because it's great. It's just easy to go with a lot of clothes. Um, I wore these to Japan and they're super comfy because they're nice and cushiony as well. Um, but yeah, so these are comfy and because they're like knit, they're just... You know, even if you have wide feet, it's nice and comfortable to wear. So that's really nice. Oh, so I was actually going to say that was it, but I actually found one more pair of shoes. I can't believe I forgot about. And they are these Puma. These are, I think, 50, I don't know why there's a 50. I think maybe 50th anniversary. Anyway, these are the Puma Hello Kitty collab shoes. Clearly, I haven't worn these yet. But I per I love Hello Kitty. Like, I'm obsessed. I have no idea why. I'm a 33-year-old woman. I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. But... Anything Hello Kitty, it's like, oh, bye. So I bought these, and also because, you know, there was only a limited amount being sold, so I hunted it down the next morning when it was released, went to the store, and lucky found a pair in my size. So these are the um, the Puma collab with Hello Kitty. What's the name of it? I don't even know what this So these are a nice pair of red. I think the reason, like, I really like it because it's Hello Kitty collection but at the same time it's not really my go-to because it's really bright red actually I wouldn't say I regret it but it's definitely like I said it's been sitting in the box I will probably wear it at some stage if I have like an outfit to fit it with but it's so cute though like it's not too I know um Converse had a collab with Hello Kitty as well and I think after these pair and just, you know, all these shoes in general, I've kind of just taken a step back and just not buy things out of impulse. Like, I have to kind of think about, it. will I really wear it or is it a bit over the top? So, these were my last, I guess, impulse buy shoes. But they're still cute. So, I will probably wear it one day. It's a little too bright for me. I just got to find an outfit to wear it with. But I do like it because it's Hello Kitty. Anyway, so that was it. That is all my shoes, my sneakers. Um, obviously, I've got more shoes, but these were all my sneakers. I'm actually surprised I have a lot. Like, if I didn't do this video, I probably wouldn't know. But now that I don't, I think I'm ready to cut back or I might have to rethink about some of these. But, yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, let me know what you think, um, what your favorite shoes are. And, yeah, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to watch more random things. Um, also, let me know if you want to request any videos for me to make. Thanks for watching. Bye.